Spazuda and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Japanese paper origami crane. With this style crane, if you hold its head and pull its tail, he flies. So I'm going to go step by step, take your time, pay attention, and if you fall behind, you can press pause on your screen and take as much time as you need for each step. Okay, good luck. First thing you want to do is hold your paper color side up and fold corner to corner. Real tight folds. Make sure you push your finger all the way across so it's nice and tight. Okay? Then you're going to take your triangle and touch these two corners. Again, nice, tight folds. Now open it back up to your first triangle. Now we're going to take this corner and fold it right along this line. Make the sides, the edges meet. Do the same with this side. So, so far, you should have what looks like this. Fold in the middle, and two edge folds. Okay? Now, open your shape back up, back to your square. Kind of fluff it around a little. Now, have this square pointing towards you. You're going to notice these two points are popping inwards. You want to bring them to the center and bring them down. Just like that. I'll show you again. Because of the folds we made earlier, these two are popping up. If it's like this, you might want to turn it this way. They're popping up. You want to bring them together so they meet along here. Just like that. Then, you're going to push this top one down. So, when you open it now, it looks like this. There are two little pieces in the middle, two big flaps on the edge. If you look at it from this direction, it looks like this. Okay? Now, with the open pieces facing you and the closed edge pointing away, you want to pick up the first right side and fold it to this center line. Okay, if you get a little white showing, don't worry. Do the same to this side. Only the first layer, so it meets in the middle. Okay, it kind of looks like a kite. Then you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on this side. Remember, open points are facing you. Hold it into the center line, flatten it, same thing on this side, hold it in the center, and flatten it. So now you really have a kite. Two flaps open on this side, and two flaps that open on this side. Now, you're going to fold this top triangle so it's pointing down towards you and make this really tight. Your paper's getting a little bit thicker. I'm going to run your nail over it. Okay? Now, open the top part back up. Open the flaps on one side only. Now you're going to pick up just the top piece of paper from these edges and lift it so it's going to fold right along that fold that we made. Lift it straight up. This is called a petal fold. See how the sides come right in? Kind of looks like a mouth. You're going to push it back and fold these down as you're doing so. You might need to finesse the top a little bit, but it should go right into place. 
Okay, I'll show you that again. Lift this. And these should naturally flow right into the center and flatten it. And guess what? We're going to turn it over and do the same thing to this side. Now again, this top fold, let's pull our triangle back down. And lift it back up. And open your sides and you're going to do the petal fold again. Push this up. It should fold in nicely. If not, just give it a little push. Line it out. Now here's where the steps would change if you were doing the traditional cream. But this cream is going to fly when we're finished, so that's exciting. Now you're holding this so it looks like there's little legs on the bottom triangle with little legs. You're going to take the right side, the top, and push it over to the left side, just the top layer, like that, and fold it. Then you're going to flip your whole shape over. You're going to do the same thing again. You're going to take the, the right side again, push it to the left side, flatten it. Now it kind of looks like a dog with ears. We're almost finished. Now, you have two big flaps on the bottom. You're going to fold one flap up as far up as it will bend. And flatten that. Flip the shape over. Fold this one up. You've just created the wings to your cream. Okay. So now you have a triangle. And if you look inside, you have what's going to be the tail, and also the head, and then we have the other wing. So while you pinch down the front, so you're basically pinching with the neck of the crane, you're going to reach inside here and pull down the tail. I'm going to pinch with my left hand here and my right hand. I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. Okay, as I'm pulling down, I'm going to move this hand and pinch this so it stays down where you want it. Pull it right down and pinch. Okay, flip it over. Now you're going to pinch this side and reach in here again and just pull it down a little bit and then pinch that down. So now I just created my head and my tail. Okay, now to actually form the head, you reach your finger inside of this piece and you push it inwards, like that. And push it straight down, inwards, and then pinch the top. So there's this head. Now you could roll these with a pencil, the wings, or traditionally they fold them, about there. And like I said before, this is the crane that you can make fly. So if you hold its neck right here, you kind of want to get your paper loose. This is big paper, so it's going to be a little stiff. You reach right in here and grab the bottom of its tail, and I'm going to pull it directly towards the right. And watch. There's your crane with wings that flies. Again, you pull it towards the right, not up. If you pull it up, it looks a little funny. You're going to pull it straight to the right. And there's your crane.